My name is Leanne. I will be showing you how to spawn an item and position it properly in your game. First, we'll choose a location for our item. This is the entryway for my Lakeview Manor home. The right side is bare, so I can show you an example of spawning and placing items. Using this technique, your items will not move from the location you place them in, so there won't be any flying around of items or items falling onto the floor. Let's go over to the location where we want to spawn our item. Okay, this bare wall here, and I'm facing into the room. Okay, press the tilde key to access your console, and type help and the item name. You'll see a list of items and item codes that you can scroll through. We want a shrine of nocturnal at this location, so we'll type help shrine and press enter. And to scroll through, you just press your page up or page down key. And we'll scroll through looking for our item. Okay. That's the code for the Shrine of Nocturnal. Now the code string begins with an ACTI. That means this item code will allow you to activate the item. Now to spawn an item at the location you're standing, you need to type player place at me the code and the quantity. Okay, and the code is 0010E8B0, and we want 1, so press enter. Now when you exit the console, the item will be spawned directly where you're standing, so you'll want to move fairly quickly once you exit the console. Okay, we turn around, and there is our Shrine of Nocturnal. Now if you move closer, you can see that we can activate this object. Okay. You can also see that this object is tilted to the left, facing the wrong way, and slightly above the floor. Okay, so we want to position it properly. Here's where it sounds technical, but it's very easy. There are two things to note. Angle is the tilt of the object, and position is its placement or location. We can use get and set for both. The X and Y angles will tilt your object right, left, front, or back, and the X and Y position of the object will move it right, left, front, or back. Okay, there is one more variable, Z. The Z angle will rotate your object, and the Z position will move your object up or down. First, let's remove the tilt of our object. We want it to be level. Okay, so we go up, and we open our console, and we select our item, You'll notice that the item code starts with FF. Okay. Anything we spawn will begin with FF. If the object you select begins with a 0 or 1, it's an object that likely belongs to the house or the game. So make sure you have the correct object selected. We don't want to move the walls or the floors. Okay. And we're going to set the angle X to 0 and press Enter. At set angle Y to zero and press enter. That will always make it level. Setting your X and Y angles to zero always makes your object perfectly level. Then we exit and we can move back and we can see that it hasn't changed. Okay. Changing the angle will not be shown immediately on screen. Changing the position of an object will show immediately. So let's open the console and see what our current up-down position of our shrine is and change it. So make sure your object is selected and get position Z and press enter. <clears throat> and we can see that the up-down position is 0 0.56, well negative 0 0.56. So we're going to set that a little higher to let's do negative 3 and press enter. And we can see that the object has completely changed. It's adjusted for the XY position that you set or the angle that you set earlier as well as its new position closer to the floor. Okay. It's still facing the wrong way and we need to change that. So let's get the current Z angle. <clears throat> Remember Z angle is a rotation of the object. So with your object still selected, get angle Z, 
tells us the angle of the object is at about 270 degrees. We're going to set the angle Z to the opposite, which is about 90 degrees, and press Enter. And again, remember, because you changed an angle, it won't be shown immediately, but when you change a position, it will take immediate effect. And it'll also take effect for the angle that you changed earlier. So we're going to set position to minus 5. Now this is going to show us if our angle Z at 90 degrees is correct. Press Enter. Oh, set position, sorry, Z minus 5, Enter. Now we're going to exit out of the console, step back, and we can see that our, our statue is level and it's facing the right direction. Now to move it either right or left, go back into your console, make sure that your object is selected, and we're going to get the angle, sorry, get position, X, and it is at 208. So we're going to set position X to 200 and see if it moves front or back, right or left. Oh, it moved towards me. So the X in this instance is front and back. Set position X and we're going to go say 150. Enter. Oh, it's much closer. So we're going to go to 10. Enter. I'm going to need to step back a little bit and see how close it is to the wall. It's pretty close to the wall. So we're going to change the Y, posi y position of this object slightly left. So get the current, get position Y. And it shows us negative 1150. We're going to set position Y to negative 1120. Enter. Okay, it's moved it far to left. Set position Y negative 1140. Press enter. Let's see if it's positioned it. That's actually a pretty good position. So here we've changed our rotation of our object, our tilt of our object, how high up or down our object is, and right and left. We've also taught you how to spawn one. So good luck and have fun.